I would say I'm an object maker in many different ways. I do video, um, I take photographs, um, and so I try and um, balance that line that it's an interesting thing to look at. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. You're not going to stay there very long. That's just so boring, right? So I still want to make that object, whether it's a three-dimensional object or whether it's a video, um, that has those balances when we sort of think of art as those multiple things happening. But I suppose over years, um, I'm also putting in that um, narrative. So I think the video, if you go back to the video upstairs of the swans, um, actually quite beautiful. Pretty ugly. But you're um, caught. The, that came out of, I was on Toronto Island um, for a couple of months and I would go down to this pond at the, so 3.34 o'clock. I've had a need a break. Um, and there were these two swans that I watched every day. And when I say that when I go to the garden where I know they're talking to me, I'm always sort of cautious about how I'm reading things, because it's very easy to read what you want to read. So I've been signing um, petitions, sign my petitions. I've been signing petitions about um, the airport. And while I'm on the island, planes are going every, you know, 20 minutes, this plane flies over. Port So there are only two swans on this. <coughs> no other um, waterfowl. And it's a fairly big pond near the um, water plant on the island. So I assume it's Port Air. Those goddamn planes, they've chased away all of the other wildlife. They ruined this pond. Terrible people. But I do a little bit of research on the mute swans. No, no, no. But it's chased away the, um, all the other wildlife is the swans. They're invasive, they're aggressive, they eat um, up the food. So there is no um, food on top because they can go down quite low for any of the other waterfowl. The reason there is no waterfowl there is because of the mute swans. They now have a, a study going and they think they're redirecting the pathway of the trumpet swan because they're growing all over the Great Lakes and down into the States. Big surveys on these new swans because they're growing in massive numbers and they're eating up the food. So here's this beautiful image. Soon it's Port Air. I'm sorry, Port Air. You've done other things, but this wasn't your fault. <laughs> so I make this video. It's beautiful, right? I mean, if it was just there, if you look at this, this is just, you know, it's Swan Lake. It's all of these things that we think of as swans. So they're actually very nasty species. <laughs> 